Hey guys, welcome back! It's finally time for me to look at a PlayStation 2 accessory that I wanted to look at for a while. I got my hands on it last year, but unfortunately some things caused me to postpone this, but... Here it is, a PlayStation 2 VGA adapter. So, it's a standard VGA connection on one end, and then two RCA outs for stereo audio, left and right channel. And we'll take a look at it. Now we will have to do some trickery. So, for those that know, and those that don't know, VGA will output at 480p. Standard PlayStation 2 output is at 480i. So we will need to use something else. This trusted adapter that I have, the AV multi-out. And let me set up a television or two before we plug in a display. Now for the sake of this video, we're going to be using my G400 monitor. This is the first Sony Trinitron monitor I was able to get a hold of since I started doing all this stuff. And I'm going to have to grab a standard definition monitor as well, or a television in this case. So I have a little less space than I thought for everything on this coffee table. But the PlayStation 2 is tucked back there. We have enough room just to kind of see everything happen. So to kind of explain this beforehand before someone asks in the comments, this adapter lets you bypass the AV out on the PlayStation models, PlayStation 1 to 3, and basically you can use composite RCA audio out stereo or S video. And the way the AV out works is it just bypasses it. So you could use this to connect it. I do have a video about this and then connect another connector and use multiple displays or light guns depending on how they are functioning. So what I'm going to do is use this output and standard definition video to start then we are going to output it to the VGA output so I'm not going to have any audio connection at this moment and like I said output out of range it's at 480i and VGA needs 480p so one thing you will have to make sure you do is go in the system configuration and you don't want the YCBPBCRPR that's a mouthful the video signals the component does. You don't want those. You want it to be in RGB mode, which is the signal that VGA uses. So now that we have it that mode, we will need a game or software that does 480p. Now there are options for free make boot, I believe, and certain software to force the resolution of a PS2 game to be 480p or even 720p, I think. Some games went up to 1080i. So let me go grab a title that does 480p. So for this demonstration, I'll be using one of my favorite games from the PlayStation 2, Shadow of the Colossus. This game is definitely neat. They did have a PlayStation 4 remake, which is also good. It doesn't say on the back of the box that it does 480p, but I am 100% certain that it does. Hey, we got standard definition. That's another weird thing, is people don't know this, but back in the day, pretty much 480i was the top of standard edition, and 480p is the start of HD. Nobody that I knew of really used those terms, because HD televisions did not catch on in the US until about the point that we were getting HDMI or component sets to in 1080i. There were sets that did 480p, but... I don't know any models off the top of my head. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Hey! There you go. Look at that. We're playing PlayStation 2 on a VGA monitor without any adapters. My display is looking kind of weird though. Yeah, right now it's not looking so hot. You might not be able to see it on the camera as well, but it is a little off and out of sync. And when I tested this before, I did not have that issue. So, it's unfortunate this monitor is having issues because this is my first one. But yeah, 480p gaming. So guys, I hope you thought that was interesting. 
this is a neat little accessory that is not common at all. It came with the Linux kit at one point, which, for those that don't know, one of the reasons there was a Linux kit for the PlayStation 2 was in Europe there were certain regulations about game consoles, and they also kind of marketed it as a programming computer and device to kind of circumvent that. So there was a Linux kit. If I ever get a hold of one, I'll do a quick video on it. There are much better videos out there about it by this point by other people. That's how I kind of found out about it again in the first place. But hope you guys enjoyed. I do have plans to do some more PlayStation 2 accessories. Uh, one or two that you guys probably forgot exist or maybe you don't even know it exists. So expect that soon. I also have another little project I want to do with this. So expect that within the next few days. So stay safe, take care. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.